A movie where Matt Damon becomes a cyborg, then goes to infiltrate the Citadel in Mass Effect? Yeah, let's, let's watch that, like, right now. Elysium. So Elysium's written and directed by Neil Blomkamp, the director of District 9. And Future Earth in this movie is pretty much Future Earth in most movies except Back to the Future 2. It's overpopulated, it's polluted, it's pretty much a shithole. So all the really rich people on Earth built this space habitat pretty much? I hate it when people over compare things in sci-fi movies to Mass Effect because not all things sci-fi are Mass Effect, it's just a fact. But I really do mean it when I say this thing that all the rich people from Earth are living on in Elysium is the Citadel from Mass Effect or a Halo in the Halo games. It's a whole colony and they all live there. And up there it's awesome, it's like a Garden of Eden in space, everything's great, everything's all shiny, they listen to classical music, they sip their brandy, they have great medical. You can get your nuts blown off and then lay down in this bed, then this computer will go off fifth element and rebuild your balls and you're like, all right, good to go. It's pretty awesome up there in Elysium. Down on Earth, it's a shit tank. And then for good reasons in the movie, which I like that this movie gave us a good reason for it, Matt Damon's like, I'm going to invade Elysium. Now we have our movie. Surprisingly, most of the movie doesn't take place on Elysium, it's down here on Earth. And more surprisingly, that didn't bother me. I mean, talking about Matt Damon getting cybernetic implants and invading Elysium, it sounds more sci-fi action movie than it is. A sci-fi movie? Yes, it is, no doubt. Action movie? Not really. The cool thing about Neil Blomkamp movies, all two of them, is that he incorporates social dynamics and we'll say social issues that we see in our world and puts them in his movies. That's half the interesting stuff right there. It's just cool to see this world and the world's really engrossing. This movie's just sucking you into the world. You know, you're, you feel it. You feel, it feels like it's a real thing because it's just an exact exaggeration of what we already have on Earth. And the people in this movie did a good job. Matt Damon's a badass. Dude was Jason Bourne, so we know that he can be an action star, although I just said this isn't really an action movie as much, but it does have action in it. More than that, the guy's a good actor. And then you have Jodie Foster. She's more or less running Elysium. She was good, but you feel like any middle-aged actress who's a good actress could get a really short haircut, act like a bitch, and be like, okay, you're pulling it off too. Turns out Jodie Foster does it well also. But we're gonna talk about this here because this dude steals the show. Charlotte O'Copley, the guy from District 9, he plays the villain in this movie. He's the mercenary that's going after Matt Damon and company. Imagine the Terminator who had a few wires loose in his head so he's kind of crazy. That's him in this movie. And this dude is menacing, he's awesome, he's cold, he's just, he, it's uncomfortable. He steals all the scenes he's in and he is clearly the best thing about this movie and I don't mean that as a negative for the movie Elysium. You know, usually when people are like, the best thing about the movie was this thing and they mean it as a negative for the movie, not this case. Elysium's great, it has a lot of great things in it and in this pool of greatness, there is one great that is the greatest and that's this guy. And it shows his crazy range as an actor. District 9, he was this mild-mannered office guy, which is funny because in District District 9, he had a whole character story arc, so he ended the movie as a different kind of guy than he was in the beginning. So that was impressive right there. Then he was Howling Mad Murdoch in the A-Team. So he was all crazy, but like in a fun way, not like he is in Elysium where he's just a really sick son of a bitch. And now you have him in this movie and he's a menacing psycho. I think this guy could play Barack Obama and I'd be like, that is Obama right there. He is so, he's pulling it off. And I believe it's actually him. Dude, this guy's crazy. I can't praise him enough. I'm just really impressed by him. And I'm really surprised he's not in more things. In the and Elysium was a great sci-fi, it had a great hero, a great villain, a great social message. You could argue that it gets a little preachy. And whether you agree with the message or you don't agree with the message, this is how I see it. At least we see a director pouring some passion into his movie. And in 2013, let's face it, it's just good to see a director do that because so few have. As it's establishing the world you're seeing, it gives a lot of information in a short amount of time, so it does seem like it's rapid fire. It's a bit overloading at times, but it doesn't hold the entire movie back. If you're looking for a really good sci-fi with a lot of really good human elements, this Elysium really did it for me. And my friends, Elysium is... Awesome-tacular. <laughs> Alright, so Elysium, have you seen it and what did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.